All right. Hey, everybody. <coughs> Long time no see. How's it going? Uh, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Today, uh, after what I would say a relatively decent success, uh, we're going to play another horror game. This one's called They Lurk. Apparently, it's a work in progress. There's like six chapters, I think. So I don't know how long we're gonna get. I don't know anything about this game. I guess let's peep the controls. E to interact. All right, pretty standard. So um, as always, I guess let's just jump right into this. I don't really know what to expect, so let's just pop off. So yeah, it's uh, I've been kind of just doing stuff. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't really know what to tell you. Who's uh, who's our man's here? Oh, hey, Richard. So, yeah, I've been kind of just, like, doing stuff for uh, for a while, you know, whether it be playing some games and all that, and, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess the best way really would be to just say, I've been, I've been doing stuff, and I haven't really had time. Funny enough, I have a test, like a very important test today. That uh, I got in like a couple hours, but you know, obviously here I am doing this because it's more important, obviously, to get a video. So I'm not gonna lie to you; I don't really know what's going on right now because it looks like I can't leave. Like actually, so this this could be a a very very short video. What's what's our boy doing? can't talk to him. Am I just waiting for that guy to come back? I'm, I'm very confused here. Oh, he needs to pee. Okay. That's, that's what we were waiting for. That's the ticket there. Alright, well. Let's, let's head out then, I guess, to help our brother pee. Oh, well. Goodbye. I guess he's gonna die too. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I've been playing Dark Souls. I've been playing... So I beat the original Dark Souls. And uh, I beat it before, obviously, so I was just replaying it to prepare myself for a randomizer. And if you're not familiar with the concept, it's it's pretty it's pretty simple. It's just essentially Dark Souls, but I think if every enemy was different and every item was different. You know what I mean? So... That's, oh, well, I guess just my head took a nap there. That was pretty rad. You know, I suppose, realistically, if you think about it, only your head needs to take a nap. So we're kind of just bypassing the whole, you know, also getting your body a nap kind of thing. Smart, smart man. So, yeah, um, that's, that's essentially what the Dark Souls randomizer is. And, obviously, I'm probably, like, nowhere near finishing it. And then... On top of that, Jedi Fallen Order was also on on sale, which I've been playing through, and, and Jedi Fallen Order is quite amazing. Like, actually, it's a lot like Dark Souls, but there's also quite a bit of changes. So Jedi Fallen Order is pretty good. Like, it's actually really fun. Which I guess brings up a, a, a weird topic. So, unlike a lot of other people who, who like Star Wars... I kind of had the inverse happen. Oh, there we go. There we go again. Smart man. I kind of had the inverse happen with Star Wars, where like a lot of people remember seeing Star Wars as a child when they were young, right? And then just becoming super fans, like before they even, um, I don't know, were like adults. So they've just been like childhood fans, and it's weird for me because I never actually cared at all about Star Wars as a kid, like if we're being real here. Um, I just, yeah, I just kind of didn't care. So it didn't really matter much to me. And funny enough, my friend, my best friends, both of them, uh, are really into Star Wars, right? One of them's even in a, a saber club, which is, is it? I've, I've gone to it a couple times. I haven't been going to it recently because it's just, I don't know, it's become iffy for me. Where it's essentially you just fight with lightsabers. It's like grown children, <laughs> you know what I mean? So 
they they were really into it since they were kids and it took me it took me a while to uh actually get into it it literally was not until i was like in well college when i was an adult that i finally got into it right which you know it's it's kind of a weird experience to have because not many people have that experience you know most of them are like childhood fans of star wars and you know all it took was a a good star wars movie like you know attack of the clones <laughs> no nah, i'm kidding but funny funny enough actually after the uh after the prequels i uh I actually quite enjoyed it, which is funny because, you know, you wouldn't expect the prequels because a lot of people don't like the prequels, you know what I mean? And I, I don't know why. I mean, I think they're actually pretty fine movies. They were, I honestly enjoyed watching them more than the original trilogy. So, but I think that's maybe just on a pure enjoyment standard right like you know maybe you can argue that the original trilogy is just like better movies but you know that's that's neither here nor there leave in the comments what is your favorite star wars movie and if it's not phantom menace we're gonna throw hands i'm kidding mine's actually probably weirdly enough let's see what's my favorite Weirdly enough, I like episode 9, and I can't tell. It's definitely not because episode nine's a good movie. I just, like, actually enjoy watching episode 9 so much because it's so stupid. Like, actually, like, over the top. Like, now that's that's a fun, that's a fun ride right there is watching episode 9 and trying not to criticize. Did I? Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. But if we're being real, I think episode three is probably my favorite which most people i believe also think episode three is like the best one what can i say i'm a hayden christensen fanboy which is funny because i was actually a fan of hayden christensen when i was a child because if you don't know hayden christensen was in a movie called jumper which is actually one of my favorite movies of all time just because I think it's really cool. You know, still a little bit of childhood uh, <laughs> nostalgia seeping through for Jumper, because Jumper is not a very good movie. <laughs> but yeah, I actually really like Jumper. I think it's a, I think it's a really cool movie. So yeah, and obviously he's the main character in that movie. But um, yeah, hey, what the. Excuse me? Oh, well, goodbye. I've. I guess I've perished, maybe? Oh, never mind. I'm back. Uh. Not gonna lie. I don't know. Grim said he had to use the bathroom, but got lost. So, yeah. And then. And then, next thing to talk about. Um, let's talk about last video. Funny enough, I haven't checked it in a couple days, but last I checked, the last video I did, the Backrooms first horror game I've ever done, surprisingly did well. Which, you know, it works for me because I actually quite enjoy playing horror games. Uh, it's like a it's like a best of both worlds thing. I think it's I think it's really neat that I get to do this. Obviously, I can play obstacle courses and whatever whenever I want. Yeah, I guess if you just ask for it, I don't really care too much. But yeah, we'll we'll see. Right now, I think this is actually quite interesting. What we're getting into, so we'll uh we'll do that. Oh, I'll turn that back on. So yeah, I actually, I don't know, just to say, I don't know, this might be what we're going to be doing for a hot minute, and then I guess if you have any suggestions, I would be willing to play it. The only problem is, 
I'd love to stream a game like Fallen Order. I think the only problem with that is um, it already kind of doesn't run too hot on my on my PC. I got it on like medium, which has only happened with like one other game so far, and it's like the Outriders demo. But I guess you know, obviously, I can't expect to run a game like Jedi Fallen Order, which actually is just a really great looking game and has a lot going on on ultra high. So that's the only problem is I just don't know if I would be able to even like uh, record it without my PC dying is I guess the best way to put that because it truly is kind of difficult to run. But who knows, maybe maybe I'll just replay it on potato graphics like ultra low and then <laughs> and then record it and we'll see how it looks. So it's kind of it's kinda of funny. The this game doesn't really have much going on either, to be honest. And I'm not really paying too much attention to the lore other than you got trapped in some weird maze and then you came back, which so it was probably just a nightmare. And then your brother Richard is um that's who we're playing as now, I believe, just just for clarification. Went out to go pee and somehow got so lost that he climbed up into a treehouse. So yeah. But other other than that, that seems to be all that's really going on here. Oh, it appears oh, there we go, I'm back in. Ah, uh, well that's not pleasant. Ah, uh, hello there. Yeah, maybe that would have been a lot scarier <laughs> with sound. <laughs> that was... that was something. Tip, pay attention to the tone of Richard's voice. Wait, so... Wait, was I supposed to do something there? Oh no, did that really involve sound? I don't have sound on. No. This is unfortunate. Maybe. Oh, maybe. I mean, obviously, I think I can piece this out. Maybe when he says to turn your lamp on, maybe you just like turn your lamp off. I think that that might be it, because there's really nothing else you can do here besides turn the lamp off. So I'm just going to pay attention to that. Well, we're just, we're just sitting here. I'll see if I can see the light. Yeah, my lantern's on. Alright. Alright, okay. Okay, so yeah, I think that is the premise, is we kind of like turn it on. But the problem is I can't hear, so I don't actually know if anyone would would uh, would be here. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if I could see the monster. So maybe, what if we just chill here, like in pitch dark? It's would be something, you know what I mean? To be honest, I don't know how many times I'm gonna try this, because this might actually just be an indefinite fail, because I don't play with sound on. And, uh, is your lantern on? I can't see. Okay, pal. That lantern was on. Oh, oh, oh what the? Hey, yo. Well, who knows? Maybe I'll win because I'm stuck on the ground. Wait, what the? What the? <laughs> I'm not supposed to be down here. <laughs> Man, breaking game since day one. Yeah, I don't actually, well, I don't know how I would die either because um, the lantern's off, which might mean the dude can't kill you. And on top of that, 
it looked like it was a cutscene where the dude rolls up the the cabin, right, the treehouse, and he kills you. So this is a this is a slight issue, and we'll have to uh, talk about this some other time. So as of right now, I can't see anything. The lights off. I don't know if we can get killed. So let's just uh, let's walk backwards and keep our eye on the the ladder. Oh, here we go. Well, can't see it anymore. Oh, I think. Oh, I'm in rocks. Okay. But I couldn't even I couldn't even leave the treehouse though. That's the only. <laughs> you definitely can't leave it. So this is definitely a glitch, and I really can't see anything. It's truly, it's not very pleasant for me or for you, you know what I mean? I can't see anything, you probably really can't see much either. I'm just walking, game's glitched out, I'm just cruising, you know what I mean? What to do, what to do. I also don't think, of course, I'll ever die. So, how's the weather? What about that airline food, am I right? Yeah, I'm, uh, I think, besides the moon, oh! It caught me. I believe it has caught me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, I think that's what we're going to call it for today. Funny enough, I'm going to say it for old time's sake. Um, I'm going to, sorry if this bored you, I'm going to come back with better material. Hopefully it feels like I'm blowing a stand up set. You know what I mean? But funny enough. I don't think that one was that boring. I think obviously the gameplay was riveting. True masterpiece. Um, on time, it's actually pretty average time. This isn't a an absolute heater of the back rooms where it was like a 30 minute video. Um, yeah, I, I think it was pretty fun. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> if you do agree, put it in the comments. And uh, thank you guys for watching this new, I guess, thing we're doing with, with horror games. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys.